Hello, beautiful souls. It's been a minute. And yeah, I look all crazy, but I don't care. It's officially Libra season. So next month is my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> anyway, I'm always researching about things. And reading and investigating and learning. Never stop learning. And the analysis that I have for today is that if whatever religion you follow, whatever you believe on it, but if you believe in Buddha, if you believe on God, goddesses, whatever, they didn't have a perfect life. They did a lot of miracles, they healed people, but they suffered, they were they were persecuted, they 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 went through a lot. So who would think we are as a light worker to think that we have to be positive all the time? Who would think we are to think that we have to be happy all the time? I was on my feelings and it's okay because I like it to keep it real. I was going through some shit for a few days. It was only three or four days, and that's okay. And today I woke up feeling myself again. And I'm just like, Andy, who you think you are? You are just a human. And it's okay to get in your feeling. What is not okay is to stay on it. It's okay like to, to feel emotion, to be sensitive. And I was going through my shit. And just that I was more down for the, for the fact that I felt like I had to be all the time happy. That I had to be all the time happy, positive because... People is looking at me because people is expecting me to be like that because I spread positivity. And I was down because I thought that I was letting others down. And I'm just like, it's part of the process. It's okay. Shit happened. But it was just, you know, it was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And today is Wednesday. And that's it. Five days. And I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling myself again. I don't have to pre pretend that I'm perfect when I'm not. And most definitely, I don't have to get sad or feel disappointed when I get like that. Because I know that people are expecting me to send them positive quotes, to make positive video, to be all the time the happy camper, to be in 100% energy. Like, no! I'm human! Keep it real! Become an alchemist. And that's what I do every day. And it's okay. Sometimes things, they don't go as we expected. But don't stay there. Make the best out of it. And just think. What can I learn about this? How is this becoming, is making me better? What is the message? How is this going to move me forward? How is this to take me closer to what I want to be and still keep being and keep to the process of be the better version of myself and like I say like I'm sorry but no sorry and I know some people out there too they are just like oh well what's happening with today today like you're not like that well I'm a human being like you think that they don't put out there but you don't think they even got suffer when he was just putting love out there and people just did what they did to to him you know and it's okay thank you Ernest. i just want to put out there because my soul sister and all the light walkers and all the people out there they like to spread nothing but positivity they think that we have to be 24 7 365 days of the year positive and happy and up and it's not like that Let's don't be foolish yourself and let's don't, let's don't try to foolish nobody else. We are human and it's okay. That means that we are sensitive. That means that we have a heart. That means that we have emotion and they mean that we are touched. And to be honest, to be really honest with y'all. Did I say just y'all? <laughs> to be really honest with all of you. Um, since I became uh, like, you know... I started following my path and I got more in tune with Mother Nature, with the planets, with the stars, with the energy and everything. Because i always been like this. It's just I didn't embrace it. I didn't know what to do with it. And I want to push it away because people, because believe they are 
teach to us by family, society, culture, but now I embrace who I am. And it's all the opposite. I'm always in the love frequency. I love is beautiful, but love her sometimes, you know? And that's okay too. But I, I am really sensitive. I cry a lot. But 95% of the, my crying in the last six or eight months has been of happiness. Because sometimes I'm just watching a beautiful landscape. Sometimes I'm just listening to the birds. Sometimes I just see something truly beautiful. A mother breastfeeding or uh, animals doing love dance. Or, and I'm just tear up because it's, I just feel grateful. And I feel fortunate that I can expect that and just remember and say, Thank you, universe, because I'm alive and I can see this. Sometimes we focus a lot and what we don't have and what we want to have. And let me tell you something. I went to New Orleans and I have an amazing trip. Oh, my God. My eyes has been two days now with some allergy. Um, and I have an amazing time. I'm not going to lie. And it was a trip full of synchronicity, some craziness. And... At the same time, it was at a moment that I was just myself just crying in the plaza because this fight, you know, a fight broke up. And I was just like, man, I don't know that person that instigated, like, yes, yes, hit it, hit it, hit it. I just saw the sadness of that people. And I and that may remind me that I'm here and a lot of us are here to change and spread love. Be the shame that you want to see in the world. And I just thought to myself, I'm doing a lot, but I was like in a moment feeling that guilt of I'm only one and I can do a, I can do enough. I wish that I can help everybody. I wish that I can spread love because those people, they are just hurting. They're just hurting and that's why, you know, and don't get me wrong, it was a beautiful experience. Like I came back with a totally mindset. I love New Orleans. Like, it's really, and I, I, I connected with this lady that she lives here. She also does Reiki. And she's like, you look like you're from here. And she's like, and I'm like, you know what? When I got out of the airplane and I was in the Uber back to the hotel, you know, going to the hotel, I was just like, this is not the first time I've been here. And I was just getting the goosebumps everywhere that I went because, come on, I'm from... My mom is from Dominican Republic, so I had I had Dominican blood, and in Dominican Republic, my root, in my mom and my dad's side, uh, there is natural wishes in the back, and and you know in Dominican Republic they practice, uh, senses, hoodoo, whatever you want to call it, but those root, besides coming from Africa, you know New Orleans is really big on that, and man, it was amazing, and. I just gonna keep out there and yesterday it was just two days ago in the full moon I have a really really rebelling experience and I'm not gonna shut up I'm gonna put my word out there because that's part of what I'm what, like I have to do what I'm meant to be sometimes a hug is powerful sometimes a brain we are powerful but sometimes how we say how we speak is so powerful that's why you have to be careful what you say. Choose just words wisely. You can either lift somebody or you can hurt people. And that's the truth. Oh my God. Thank you, Goddess Isis. It's just, you know. But I'm glad that you guys like that. Today is Wednesday. Whoop, whoop. I feel ready today. I just wanted to sleep a little more. But I'm ready to go back to the gym. I'm ready to conquer all the tr the life is have to throw on me. And I'm with my arms wide open to receive all the blessing, all the learning, all the new experience that I'm going to get. That being said, I'm going to get out of there because I have to, you know, finish uh, stretching here. I did a little meditation, of course, here Mother Nature. That's what I like to be, and I always that Richard me make me feel so better. And I have to get ready to go to work. Well, let me say it better. I have to get ready to get to go to work. Unfortunately, I love my team, I love my position, my my role. So 
Embrace everything out there, people. You know how it say, stay beautiful, stay fearless, be bold, be wild, own it, and make it count, people. Namaste.